Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to uh, tie dye your shoes like this. Give me your other shoe. We started out with a shoe like this. But the first time I was, wasn't recording, so I already did that. So we're just going to continue on. Okay, so the colors I'm using are all tulip slicks. And can you grab that one I just dropped? This one is in fluorescent pink. This one is in black. This one is in fluorescent green. And this one is in fluorescent yellow. You can all buy these at Michael's. That's where I got them. I don't know about this one, but I'm guessing you can. So yeah, so what you're going to want to do is move those over there. Okay, so you're going to want to shake the bottle a little bit so you can get the paint towards the top. And unless it's full, then you don't really need to do that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just squirt a little bit onto the shoe. And then blend it out with your finger. I wouldn't recommend using a sponge for this just because it will take up a lot of the product and your finger doesn't take up as much because it's uh, not a sponge. And the fabric paint does come off your fingers really well. Once it dries, you can just kind of peel it off. So. Then you're going to want to, I'm going to take the pink and I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to blend it. And you want to make sure your colors are blended together. That's what's going to make it look really nice. Because if they're all choppy, it's not going to look the same. You'll have a different look. You might like that better, but yeah. You just want to blend it together like that. And then you're just going to continue that all the way around the shoe. And then when you get to these little button things right here where your laces go, you're just going to want to kind of blend around them and then kind of go over them and then wipe off the white because um, you want the, the button, like the laces to stick out because they're going to be white unless you've tie-dyed those too. That's fine, I guess. I didn't want to do that, but. I don't wear these with laces, so I just like to make the little buttons stick out. And these are really fun to wear laces because they're really bright. And, yeah. And they're really easy instead of like trying to tie dye them other ways. And you don't want to pay for someone else to tie dye them. You can just go buy the $5 little paints at Michael's or whatever, how much ever they are. And tie dye them yourself. So you're just going to continue this all the way around the shoe and then over here oh so this is what you're going to end up with and then right here i wrote love so i'm going to show you guys how to do that i'm just going to go over it because it's a little bumpy so first you're going to want to write love regularly and it's going to be kind of lumpy then you're going to want to go over it a second time with the black again but i would get a needle nearby because sometimes the color dries up at the top so you're gonna need a little needle to like open it up again so you're gonna want to take the paint and just lightly run it over the top like so and then it's not gonna be so it's gonna be a little bit thicker if you do it this way but um, I don't really care Another way you can do this is the same technique, but you leave the part right here open, and this is, and then you paint the back little heel part, and then you end up with something like this. This one's like kind of like the van style, how they have like the white right there and then like a color, but it's tie dyed. Oops. So yeah, this is what you end up with. And I'd give them about like an hour and a half to dry. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.